well i'm back it's another day and i'm sunbathing again so what we've we been doing today well it's saturday i told you we we're going down to meet the guys at the paramotor club and i did so here we are we're down at the field at club paramotor plus ultra uh, this is saturday we're not going to fly today we thought we'd come down and meet a few people it's a little bit challenging because uh, this is a spanish club and my spanish is rubbish as i've told you before but uh, we're doing fairly well thank you to google translate uh, hopefully i've been told that there's two guys kicking around who are english i don't know whether they're here today Um, I don't know whether they're here today, but we'll see. Anyway, it's a nice day out. Weather's beautiful. Look at this. Um, I was quite surprised. There was three or four guys down there who spoke good English. Um, they were actually Irish fellas. Uh, so we had a good time meeting up with those and having a chat. Lovely, yeah. lovely, fucking lovely, Smith. Class. <laughs> <laughs> fucking class. I'm going to get a photo. Make sure you get my good side. Which side's that? Turn right turn back with then. Yeah. <laughs> so this is the team. Club Paramotor Plus Ultra. Look at this group of handsome looking gentleman hey eh? club paramotor plus ultra look at him <laughs> so pretty good eh? you can see um, a few paramotors kicking around here um, apparently the background over there somewhere uh, you can free fly same over here in the background here free flying going on there this guy's instructing here not that one this fella, this fella's doing some instructing. He's got a student up here, somewhere. Oh, you can see him. All right, we're having a good time. So I had a great time. I mean, I really had a great time. Uh, all the guys were friendly, even the Spanish guys who didn't speak much English. A couple of them had a go. Luckily, there were four guys at the airfield who could speak English. All four of those were Irish. Uh, one of them lives local, Noel. Sadly, the other three, they live back in Ireland and just come here every couple of months to visit and fly. So I look forward to you guys when you, when you come back in a few months' time. There's another guy called Kev, who very graciously contacted me by text message to introduce himself. He's a club member, but isn't at the club at the moment. He's away on holiday, free flying with his wife, and he's gonna hook up when he gets back. That's very, very kind of you to, to get in contact with me, Kev. Um, what we did next though, is we went down to the beach. Uh, the guys invited me down to the beach. This is the, the, the four Irish guys, because they do a lot of flying from a place called uh, Matheron or Mazaron, uh, which incidentally is near where Kev lives. So that's where I went to next. Well, Chubsters, look where we are. This is down at the beach. I'm just waiting for the guys to turn up now from, from the Paramotor Club that I'm now a member of. 12 euros, one euro a month. Uh, they're turning up any minute. They're just driving down here. This is the beach. This is beautiful. So I've got beautiful winds coming off the sea, rushing over the back of my head at the moment. Not too strong, but a nice breeze coming. And then if you look, we have all this beach. And beyond these palm trees, oh, it's a bit bright now. Beyond those palm trees, we've also got a bit of a, a, a flat of mud as well. So a few areas to have a run at. So this is going to be the place. So I'll, um, I'll get some more video in a bit when the guys turn up. What a beautiful place. Look at this. This is the Mediterranean. Eh? What a phenomenal sea. El Mediterraneo. <laughs> this is awesome.
So, let's get to it then. I bet you're wondering what's been happening with my paramotor. Well, something turned up in the post. took about a week to 10 days and the puller turned up. I had a little bit of bad luck with the puller because the puller didn't quite fit. It sort of did fit but the screw holes were in the wrong place. Now I've just been reading between the lines, I think that might be a throwback uh, because my Nirvana is a 2011. It's in great condition but it is a 2011. I'm guessing, I've got no proof of this, that they've modified that puller since, that maybe one of the reasons the puller broke was the screw holes are too close to the edge of the plastic shroud that they're in and they moved them about three mils inwards. Now that affected me because when I put the shroud on, the screws were three mils out of place. So what I ended up having to do was filing out the screw holes, uh, making them more sort of oval shaped um, by about three mils and I was able to get the screws in. Had a bit of a calamity though, when I got the whole thing back together, the engine didn't turn over. And I put two and two together and made five and thought, bugger me, the reason that I broke the puller is the engine seized somehow. How the hell's the engine seized? Because engines don't normally seize unless they're running. Uh, I've been busy. I, uh, I'm sorry. I got a bit overexcited. So I ended up taking the engine off again after I'd fitted it with the puller uh, and found out the engine just wasn't turning at all. And I ended up stripping it down bit by bit. Ideally I wanted to get the magneto off first, but I didn't have the special tool that's required to pull the mag magneto off. So I ended up stripping the head off and the cylinder uh, just to make sure that uh, all that was free moving and I wanted to actually peer down and have a look in the crankshaft to see if there was any debris, any metal from bearings or anything like that. Everything looked really clean, phenomenal condition. I was pretty impressed. So eventually I had to figure a way of getting the magneto off. I did manage to get it off, you know, by doing the old tap on the, the end of the crank with a piece of wood technique um, and managed to free it off and, and get it off with a little bit of jiggery pokery, trying to be very, very gentle. And when I got the magneto off, well, bugger me, I found inside the magnets of the magneto, there was a screwdriver attachment a bit, you know, a Torx attachment that goes on my screwdriver, somehow had managed to fall or find its way inside the magneto. I've no idea how that, that happened. It's a complete mystery. It must have fell off the screwdriver at some stage and me not seeing it and got sucked into the little tiny holes on the end of the magneto and being grabbed by the magnets. So I ended up almost stripping the engine down to, to its bare bones uh, to realise an error I'd made. What a bloody error. But anyway, um, I put it back together. It gave me the chance to inspect it. It all turned out to be in phenomenal condition. No scores, no scratches. I was able to clean up the uh, compression release um, tube and put it all back together. Taking it apart, I also realised then that the throttle cable was in pretty shoddy condition and by luck I'd ordered a throttle cable, a spare throttle cable and a spare spark plug when I was ordering parts for it. You know, just all those consumables I think I might need in the future. Um, it's a good job I did. So I fitted the throttle cable, so I've got a new throttle cable on there now, put it all back together again and lo and behold, started first start. <laughs> Phenomenal. So I've got a well running paramotor at the moment. Uh, the tick over was a little bit slow, so we'll probably just adjust that screw up a little bit, get it ticking over a little bit faster. Um, and then we're off to the beach this week, fingers crossed, okay? Noel, if you're watching, I need your help, mate. Uh, secondly, somebody's reached out to me. That's Bob from Discovery Paramotors in Australia. 
and Bob, you know, he's the guy who invented and built the retractor trike that he fits to the Discovery Paramotor that he also invented and manufactures. Now he said to me, hey Sean, been watching your videos and uh, what I can do is I can build you a retractor trike that fits on your Nirvana. So I really appreciate that Bob and we're in negotiations at the moment trying to get the measurements right. So I'm having a retractor trike built for my Nirvana. How cool is that? I'm looking forward to that turning up. That's a few weeks away yet though. So that's where we're at. So anyway, it's been great catching up again. Thank you for supporting me watching these videos. Please subscribe if you haven't done so already. If you click that bell icon, you'll get notifications. And if you're watching on Facebook, please like, share, all that kind of business. And until the next video, I'll see you again.